What's going on, Golf Addicts? DB here for another Live Golf Preview. We are in Miami at Trump Doral, the Blue Monster. Love this golf course. I'm going to get into some outright bets and a few top 10 placement bets that I really like for this event. I'm going to show you a couple of new things that are coming down the pipe for Live. I'm pretty pumped about it. So uh, my boy Pat was supposed to join me, but listen, I got to say, the week leading up to the Masters and the Masters is nuts for tour junkies. We got Stuff going, you know, Pat's family still lives here in Augusta. I'm here in Augusta. I'm renting my house out. Pat's getting ready to come to Augusta next week. We've got all the master stuff we're planning on doing, trying to get it out early for everybody. So it just becomes a chaotic week. And it really was just difficult for us to get it together. Um, my boy Danny Woodhead couldn't join us this week. So you just got me and I'm sorry. But I'm going to try to cut to the chase quickly because I've been doing some digging into these live numbers. And I've been thinking about this golf course because – the Blue Monster in Trump National Doral is a course we're familiar with. I love this golf course. I was pissed when the PJ Tour took it off the WGC rotation. It hosted a WGC event for a while. It hosted a PJ Tour event dating like decades back. But it's such a good golf course. It's big. It's long. It's difficult. Big and long. Sounds familiar. Um, You've got, uh, you know, it's a par 72, 7,700 yards. Um a lot of Bermuda grass, tons of water, tons of bunkering, fairways meandering through the the, the you know the the Miami Florida terrain. There, um, I've I've been the only live event I've ever been to is actually the live final, the team final here in 2022. So it's hosted the team final the last two years. So it's in a new spot. Normally it's in November, October, I think. Now it's in a new spot right before the Masters, which I think is key. Listen, uh, these guys need a better test and a more similar test to Augusta National the week before uh, the Masters than freaking Crooked Cat in Orlando last year. So that's an upgrade and good on Liv for figuring that out. Listen, both of these tours have to figure out where to put their best tournaments and where to wh where those tournaments should be hosted and at what point of the year do they fall. Uh, neither have done a great job of doing that, the PJ Tour or Liv. There's some things that the tour needs to move around. Um, there's some things that live needs to move around, but they got this one right. I think Doral being here, close to Augusta, a, a big boy golf course, really you could argue po potentially a championship, a major championship venue uh, type of golf course, a difficult test, test players through the bag, tee to green, um, and, and and having that the week before the Masters is a good place to go and a good spot to be. You know, Now, if you get here and your game sucks – you ain't got a whole lot of time. You know what I mean? You, you don't have a whole lot of time. I mean, it's, it's round round one Friday, round two Saturday, round three Sunday, and then get your butt to Augusta and figure it out. So, you know, we're going to see something. We're going to see something. The weather looks pretty perfect. I was going to share my screen, but honestly, there's really not much to remark on. It looks pretty solid um, for most of the week. There's going to be a little bit of Florida breeze, but not much. It's going to be pretty ideal for scoring as good as you can score on Trump throughout. But I was at this place in 2022. I walked inside the ropes with Charles Howell, with with Harold Varner. Uh, I saw this golf course firsthand, at least how it was in October. Uh, I'm sure it'll play a little bit different, hopefully a little firmer maybe. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. But I think we can fire. I think it's time to fire. One of the things that, um, you know, again, if you're new here, 54 players, you got 13 teams of four with two wild cards, which are Anthony Kim and Hudson Swafford not on teams. Um, you have round one and two, a 115 Eastern shotgun start. That is Friday and Saturday. So we have up until Friday. You want to wait. You know, you don't want to lock in your bets right now. You don't have to do that. I, I do think it's worth locking some of these in now. I've already seen some of these outright numbers steam a little bit. Um, when it was a WGC here, you had DJ win, Phil won here, Bubba finished runner up three times, and and Patrick Reed won here, which I found very interesting. I think the weather was probably a little more gnarly that that year, but to me, this is a bombers. This is a bombers golf course. Like you got a, it's seventy seven hundred yards, seventy seven hundred yards. Like Pat would have to, Pat would have to hit driver driver into a few of the par fours. Like it's unreal. So. You you got to move it, and then you got to be able to hit some. You got to flush the mid irons and long irons. You're not going to have a ton of wedges, except in these some of these par fives. Hell, you might have a wedge into a, a, a long par four if you're Dan Kevin Na or Abe Answer or whatever, or um, you know, one of those boys, Hudson Swafford. No offense, I mean he doesn't hit it very far. So, not a ton of short irons. Uh, I really looked at distance. Uh, current form, they played four live events so far this year. I believe I believe it's four. Yeah. Um, Icoba, Vegas, Jetta, Hong Kong. So this is the fifth event. Um, I'm looking at current form. I'm looking – I didn't really look at, like, 
the last couple of years of Doral because again, team event end of the season in October, I think it's a totally different vibe than these guys trying to show up ready to peak for a major. Uh, for the 13 they're playing at Augusta. For the rest of them, like it's just a big event. Like it's a different time of year. I, I'm not really waiting it the same. Um, so yeah, I, I just didn't really look at that. But but obviously, you know, looking back at the the, the leaderboards at Doral on the PJ Tour, you see a lot of bombers. You see a lot of flushers. It's a ball strikers, you know, golf course. I, I can promise you that. That's what I saw when I was walking it with with Harold and, and Charles. So uh, that's what I'm looking at. But I do want to show you this. Check this out. Um, Live Golf doing uh, doing some some strokes gained information. Now this dropped uh, through their website. Um, but I find it interesting, and and it's something that I will tell you we've known was coming. We Live has actually been collecting strokes gain data since the beginning of 2023 season, and some of it's a little bit different, uh, as you can see here on the sheet. It's a, it's a little different, but my friends at Bet the Number, uh, which if you've not joined Bet the Number, the best golf data site around, uh, we've already they've they've already got access to Live. They're bringing in this data automatically. They got to do a lot of cleaning up, though. We've had the data for a minute. We're trying to kind of figure out how we want to present it, how to how to make it look right, how to make the math math, get the math in right. We've we've tried to do that over the last few weeks. We're going to continue working with the data and their team at Live, but it's coming in automatically, um, and we're excited to do it. We're excited to have it have it brought into the platform on Bet the Number. If you're not already signed up, BetTheNumberGolf.com is where you go. Code TJ gets you five dollars off monthly subscriptions and fifty dollars off annual subscriptions obviously all the data for the pj tour and the majors is in there live is obviously the 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 next the next one um so we're working on that actively but this goes to show you that they're not um you know live is not going the wrong direction if, if you think they are you're wrong they're they're going the right direction they continue to invest in the product and i mean that that just tells you they're not going anywhere either so they're here to stay and as long as they're here to stay and they're they're playing professional golf, which they are, and you can't argue they're not. I don't care if they have music playing. I don't care if it's three rounds and a shotgun start. These are the best golfers in the world playing on tough golf courses, uh, playing for real cash. And and you know it is what it is. Like I'm sorry, but that's it's professional. Just because they're wearing pants and playing four rounds, and you know it's not they don't have music going doesn't mean it's not pro. You know doesn't mean that's the only way it can be pro golf. So I hate to tell you that, but that's what it is. I love the PJ Tour. But I also like live. So as long as they're doing it, we're going to help you figure out how to bet on it. But this just goes to show you. Now, you know, you can see here some of this stuff is weird, right? Like if you look on the on this left hand side, last tournament strokes gained uh, versus season strokes gained. You know, you see how they do the approach play. Like they have it in four different buckets: off the tee, approach long, approach medium, approach short. Obviously, that's one of the things we're working on. With bet the number is kind of cumulatively putting those things together, getting them in the proper buckets, and being able to spit those out um is is going to be important so we are working on that um but this is something that i'm kind of going off of and as i talk through some of my picks we'll talk through why i like some of these guys and there's there's another page to this but i don't have a whole lot of players on the second page if any so but i did just want to show you that i think uh, i think that's pretty i think it's pretty cool okay um let's look at something else here um i want to present my screen if i can get this pulled up and add Sorry, guys, we're the new little system here. All right, here we go. I mean, honestly, Bet Online has the most options available to the most people. Like, Liv has taken steps through their working with Integrity, um, they, they've, the company Integrity. They've taken steps to become legalized across way more states and, and legal sports books in the U.S. than they were last year. You can bet in DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM, all that stuff. However, because of the some of the regulations and some of the state regulations, Live still working on adding more states, and they are actively doing that. They have a whole team dedicated at Live, full time staff members on Live, dedicated to getting this figured out. So the states are trickling in. So I don't feel great about like putting out plays and then you not being able to bet them. Normally, I don't recommend an offshore book. You do need to know the risks of an offshore book, which would be whatever you deposit in there, whatever you end up winning, they could take it and you have zero recourse. So if you win something, take it out. Um, don't put in too much. Just put in what you need to bet now. Um, but you are going to get hit with some fees. Bet Online is a pretty reputable offshore book. Not to say they haven't had their problems. I'm not endorsed by Bet Online. I'm not necessarily endorsing them, but they do have the most options if you want to bet on live. And honestly, some of the numbers are kind of juicy. So uh, I want to start here. 
uh, with some outright bets. And you can see I've already got some top tens here loaded up, but I, I want to narrow those down. Um, you know, if, if you like John John Rom at six to one is is fine. Okay, it's fine. But you guys know I'm I'm never gonna bet the favorite. Literally never. I'm not gonna do it. He's not yet won on live since he's turned up. It's kind of weird, kind of crazy. He's obviously looking ahead to Augusta. He's got hosting duties as the defending champion. He's got the the big dinner coming his way on Tuesday night at Augusta. Um, and it and it is a great fit for him. It really is. But no thanks. Um, I'd rather take some other studs. I, I will tell you, this is going to be probably a pretty tight card for your boy, and it's going to be pretty short. Uh, Bryson is interesting to me. DJ is very interesting to me. Uh, and uh, and Kepka and Gooch. Now you're like DB. I can't believe you skipped Neiman. I have hit Neiman in both wins. I, I am up 56 units on the live season to this point being with Neiman on both, both hits and being quite, quite in on Neiman for both of those events. And I get it. I just love the value with these four names. I also, um, and, and Neiman's a bomber, absolute bomber. Okay. But he's got his two live wins. Like it is what it is. Like I just, I think the value on these four is best. Now my favorite of the four would be Kepka and DJ. DJ, a past champion here. He's already won once this season. Um, if you remember correctly, he won in uh, Las Vegas. Um, Kepka, you know, hasn't had the hottest start. Started off fifth in Mayakoba, 12th in Vegas, uh, 12th in Jeddah, 28th in Hong Kong. It hasn't been amazing, but, you know, it's he's Brooks Kepka, and you got to know he's coming into this week ready to peak, like close to peak, if not ready to peak now. Uh, so does he care if he if he Fs around and wins a live event for four million dollars? Sure, I don't think he does. Um, I think he'll be fine with that. And then he he drives his happy butt over to Augusta. So to me, Brooks and DJ fit these golf th this golf course to a T. Brooks loves a challenge. He's gonna love this. He's gonna absolutely he can eat here. Okay. Um, so those two are my favorites if I have to narrow it down. Bryson, you know, the Crushers, say what you want about the Crushers, but the Crushers have done quite well from a team standpoint and and they've they've uh, they're the defending team champs here in Miami. They've done quite well. And Bryson's had a good year. Started off slow, T25 at Mayakoba, ninth in Vegas, fourth in Jeddah, sixth in Hong Kong. The YouTube page is crushing it. Like, you know, he's he's slimmed down, he looks a little more chiseled. I mean, things are looking great for old old Bryson DeChambeau. Now he embarrassed himself with that uh, with that video he did the other day um, about the 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 he he played golf with like the dialed back golf ball and it absolutely proved all the people right about wanting to dial the golf ball back. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But ten to one is interesting to me. Okay, I, I'm giving you these four options at the top. In in the event you you like one of these guys, like go ahead and do your thing. Again, my favorites, if I were to narrow it down, were, are going to be DJ and Brooks. But Bryson winning here at Doral would not shock me ju just because, again, when you think about the course fit, it is it is very much, uh, if it's a fit for DJ and it's a fit for, uh, you know, for, for, uh, for Brooks, it's obviously a fit for Bryson given how far he hits the golf ball. Um, so, you know, and then we have Taylor Gooch. Um Taylor Gooch, a little shorter off the tee than those guys, like not not super, not super bomber, like kind of middle of the pack this season in terms of driving distance uh, at Liv. But we know Taylor Gooch, mid iron, long iron player, is fantastic. He's got a runner up in Vegas, a T six in Jetta, um, you know, multiple winner last year. We know he can close the door, eighteen to one. You know, this if Gooch starts to turn it up and turn it around, now he's not playing in Augusta next week either. So, like, this is his thing. Like, he's ready to show up and 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 say, listen, I should be in Augusta. I'm one of the best players in the world. I'm about to prove it by beating John Rahm, Joaquin Neiman, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson, Cam Smith, Terrell Hatton, all these guys who are playing at, at Augusta. He's about, you know, so he's motivated in a different way. And at 18 to 1, I'm I'm very interested in Taylor Gooch. If I were to rank these four, Kepka's my favorite, then DJ, then Gooch, then Bryson. Those are my favorite outrights at the top. And then I pr it pretty much drops off a cliff for me. Um, 
you know, I, I could see some intrigue with names like Louie. Louie's had a good year so far. Paul Casey's obviously going to get a lot of love. I, I definitely see the mid-iron, long-iron ability of Paul Casey, but sometimes I just wonder if Paul Casey can win. I, I, don't, I don't know if Paul Casey can actually win, other than being a team, you know, a team winner. Um, so I, I'm not there. I tell you who I'm on, and this is really my last outright because I, I, I I'm not going to have a ton. It's it's Dean Burmester, Dean Burmester at thirty to one, who currently is third on uh, third in live in terms of driving distance this year. He's coming off a T three to start the year in Mayakoba, T fifteen in Jeddah, T eight in Hong Kong. Um, I like I like Dean. Uh, by the way, I, I, sh I should have been talking about how these guys have been hitting their irons. If you look on that, if if you went back and referenced that sheet that I sent you, season strokes gained. From the uh, from the approach category, Dean Burmester doing his thing. One of the tops in the league, both in approach long and approach medium. Whatever those ranges are, we'll figure that out. But mid irons and long irons, Dean Burmester, one of the tops in the league. Um, well, actually, while I'm here, let me look at you know. Obviously, Brooks is doing his thing. He's doing pretty well there. Bryson's doing his thing. DJ's doing his thing. Kind of average though, to be honest with you. Um, Casey's doing well. I mean, if you do like Casey, he's doing well. Joaquin obviously doing quite well in the iron department. But Dean, pound for pound, in the mid and long iron ranges, like one of the best players in this field in terms of that. So uh, I, I definitely definitely like that for Dean. And he's gaining a ton of strokes off the tee because of the distance. But um, I, I, I think Dean is the man. And he's not a great putter, but I, I think Doral is one of those courses where you may not have to be. Like the, the, the winning score – just may not be very, you know, it, it ain't, it ain't, it might not get to 15 under. Like this is going to be a tough, tough sled in here. So those are my thoughts on the outrights. Now, I, I do enjoy doing a little top 10 in, in live. Okay. So I've got, I've got some guys loaded here. Obviously, my outrights, I've got loaded at top 10 numbers because you're getting them at plus money. I mean, 54 guys. Okay. Do the math. Now I'm pretty sure Bet Online does does have dead heat rules, which sucks. So if there's a tie for guys in that tenth spot, you're gonna split your bet. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Typically, my PGA Tour uh, top tens, I always recommend MGM because I'd rather get a little less value on the bet, but automatic, but definitely make sure I clear on on any ties. Um, but the numbers are definitely juiced. These numbers are higher relative to they're longer relative to DK. MGM, other books that have top 10 numbers. DJ at plus 130, Kefka plus 135, Gooch at plus 150, um, Dean at two to one. Now I'm going to get to some longer numbers because you know I, I kind of like tinkering around with some of these longer numbers that I, I'm close on the outright, but I just don't see him getting it done on a very tough uh, blue monster uh, with those big names at the top leading up to Augusta. But I do think top 10 is in there. Jason Kokrak. You know, we all know we all know Kokrak. Three to one, Jason Kokrak. Um, now let's let's talk about what he's done here. Let me let me let me pull this up. It's I don't think it's been tremendous. Uh, yeah, actually, it hasn't been bad. Yeah, T five in Vegas, T six in Jeddah, almost dead last in Hong Kong. I kind of you know definitely kind of chalk chalk that up. In in driving distance, he's he's doing just fine. Uh, Kokrak not necessarily um, a super bomber, but he's he's not short. You know, he's in that Taylor Gooch range, I guess. From a from a statistical standpoint, in the irons, he's gaining across the board, but he's not really, like, wowing anybody, okay? Um, around the green, like, when he was on tour, he wasn't a bad around the green player, but he's definitely, he definitely is losing strokes around the green and putting. That's your liability there for, uh, for Jason Kokrak. And then I've got, uh, obviously, uh, I've, got, I've got Matt Wolf and Sam Horsfield are the other two names that I've not yet, I've not yet really brought up or mentioned. Now, Matt Wolf, you know, not not amazing. Um, definitely had a decent start to the year, finishing fourth in Vegas. Did not play in Jeddah. Finished T forty five in Hong Kong. Not great for Matt Wolf. We know he's a bomber. We we're obviously well aware of of that. Um, in the three events that he's played, he's not doing great with the irons, and he's not doing great around the green. He's really not doing much great of anything. But I do. We have seen Matt Wolf pop at times, and given the the necessary driving distance factor here at Doral, I could see it. And honestly, at at for for five to one, Matt Wolf to beat you know 
44 other guy, 43 other guys, five to one just seems a little interesting. Um, the last one I'm going to give you is Sam Horsfield. Sam Horsfield, six to one, top ten. Let me tell you what he's been doing uh, now. Now he's also he hits it pretty good. He hits it pretty far. Gaining strokes with his mid irons, good on the par threes. Always gains strokes around the green and putting, uh, doing quite well in that department. Um, Horsefield, let's talk about what he's done this season. Uh, where is he? Here he is. A lot of middling finishes. 17th to start the year in Mayakoba, 26th in Vegas, 29th in Jeddah, 19th at Hong Kong. So, you know, middling stuff, okay? Not, not amazing, but also, you know, not far off. And he's just kind of stuck in neutral a little bit. He's he's right up there with like Adrian Moronk, Bubba Watson, um, Caleb Surratt in terms of driving distance. Definitely moves the ball, so he's he's fine there. Um, so anyway, I, that's kind of my that's it for me. Like, I think it's it's Brooks, it's DJ, it's Gooch, Burmester in the outright department, maybe Bryson if we have enough unis, and then in the top tens for some bombs. I, I think it. I think the order I would put it in is actually Horsefield at six to one. I, I like the Horsefield six to one bomb. Then I would probably go Coke Rack at three to one, Wolf at five to one. I like Burmester a lot at two to one. I'm probably gonna have some Burmester. I'm probably gonna have Burmester outright and top ten. Um, you know, Gooch, Kepka, DJ, Bryson. I'll probably leave alone at the at the outright number and just be just be done with that. So uh, those are the thoughts. Those are the bets. Outrights, top tens. You know, these shows are gonna get better as we get more access. We get more access to the data. And Bet the Number is working on that. Uh, so don't forget to check out Bet the Number. It is the premier data site. You need it. You got to get it. It's where it's where all the best are going. Um, we've got a lot of good content coming for Masters. Also, don't forget Swannies. And we've got a special promo code going right now until Thursday, April 4th at noon Eastern. Code TJ35. Not code TJ25, but code TJ35. Gets you 35% off your entire Swanee's order. Link is in the description to Swanee's. Link is in the description to bet the number. This is a Swanee's polo that I got. I love it. Just pulled this thing out of the washer and dryer, too. No wrinkles. Nice stiff collar. Nice uh, placard, placket, one or the other. Um, no wrinkles. Fits great. Love it. Breathable. Swanee's.co, TJ35, to get 35% off up until Thursday, April 4th at noon Eastern. After that, TJ25 gets you 25% off your entire order. But Swanee's giving us a big boost here right before Masters. Get us ready for spring, summertime. Get us looking good on the golf course, huh, boys? And girls, they got women's too. They got women's and juniors at Swanee's. So, all right, enjoy Live Miami. I know I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to have two screens up. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see the Live guys play Augusta next week. All the Masters content drops right here on the YouTube channel as well as the podcast feed this weekend. All right. Let's have a great week. Bend over your bookies for Live Golf Miami. See you.